Hello students and grown-ups. Did you like looking at the street art? I think street art is really fun and it's a great way to add art to the world around you. And I love the street art that was made by the artist Nathan Murdoch. Those hands, they are so cool. And I really don't want to give you too much direction for this activity. I want you to try to come up with your own ideas, but I want you to think of something with your hands and neutral colors that could give a really positive message like Nathan Murdoch's art like his fist bump was so cool and then the, with the rainbow uh, with, with the neutral colors including everyone uh, a very neat idea so in the slides there are some examples of ways to draw hands and another thing that I thought hey what better way to communicate with your hands than sign language American sign language I wish I knew more about using sign language um, to communicate but you could maybe finger spell something I love the idea of like heart hands thumbs up okay um, you know hands holding together uh, anything like that would be really fun uh, and I'm gonna show you another thing that maybe you can try if you're really stumped for an idea so I know we're kind of having a different approach today where I'm not really giving you the activity to try I'm having you think of your own idea but I wanted to show you I have neutral colored crayons pencil paper you know real simple materials and if you're having trouble hands can be uh, difficult but sometimes like just looking as you're drawing is a good idea and you know what else you can do with your hand you can trace it so you know that's an idea to trace your hand um, and then go back in and add the details so this is this is really if you're in a pinch for an idea and you can go back and jazz it up and make it look much better than just a plain old boring traced hand you know but if you need a, an idea or you can try to draw some of those hands that show the symbols uh, for the alphabet for American Sign Language or you can just look at your hand you want to draw a thumbs up so you would hold your hand and thumbs up and then you would just try to draw what you see and we never did this before so are we expecting it to be perfect no we're not we're just trying to think of an idea about communicating a really hopeful positive message using hands and neutral colors so um, you can use these kind of colors you know crayons colored pencils you could use um, markers if you have paints that's fine too that's this kind of maybe you have paper or you can cut something out of paper I'm putting you in charge you guys are so smart you can think of something to do and if you can't maybe you can try to borrow one of Nathan Murdoch's ideas and just like do a recreate that would be fun too so I want you to get to work and for sure this time uh, you need to show us what you did because I am so excited to hear about the ideas that maybe you came up with for this and um, and I know your our teachers are too but this is on you this week your your creativity your ideas and my only rule is neutral colors and hands so you have fun with it I can't wait to see what you make